Doc here. Uh, many of you out there in YouTube machine shop land have run into this. You're trying to film a video of a milling job running, but you have to make a choice. If you use flood coolant, you either see droplets like this, if you try to film through the enclosure, or if you put a GoPro inside the enclosure on a mount, um, you just get utterly drenched and all you're doing is trying to film through the droplets. So I've seen some pop-up ads for unwettable lens protectors that are supposed to shed liquid completely. Um, but I suspect flood coolant's emulsion makes this not work very well. Um, you know, coolant is really engineered to wet surfaces and lubricate them. So I thought about it and realized there has to be a way to keep the GoPro lens clear. Um, you could build a little rain roof over your uh, GoPro, and I did that in clear acrylic. Um, but a quick test basically showed that you can see the roof um, in your video because the GoPro is such a wide angle lens. So I thought about an active clearance mechanism. Um, clearly mouse size windshield wipers was a complicated Rube Goldberg device that would just fail and probably scratch the lens with the smalls uh, in the coolant. So this led to a non-contact method such as the unwettable coatings. Um, so I tried some Rain-X, uh, which people had recommended on the uh, internet. Um, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. Some people swear by it. Um, I then decided that the right approach is an air blast. Now I realized that using air from the main compressor would be a terrible idea, since the air of course has lube oil injected into it by the filter regulator lubricator on the airline. Um, it's also extremely high pressure air, which I didn't really want to blow you know, 100 plus PSI air right onto my GoPro. So the lube oil, of course, would also just coat the lens even worse than the coolant does. So I was looking for a continuous air blast that was cheap and safe. And I thought a high volume aquarium pump would be perfect as they're designed to provide continuous air pressure rather than filling a tank like a compressor. Uh, so I got a higher power pump on Amazon. It's for large aquariums, it draws 35 watts. And I then designed this 3D printed bracket with a connector for the standard five millimeter air tubing that you get for aquarium accessories like the air rocks. Um, I then printed this part on my Form Labs Form 3 in Tough 2000 resin. Uh, so this is an SLA print. The nozzle uh, is pointed right at the center of the lens. The only downside of this is that the front microphone for the GoPro Hero 8 is right below the lens. So you do get a fair amount of pump and wind noise. But honestly, you're inside a milling machine. You're really not recording concert video there. And as you can see in this simple test setup, it actually works pretty well. So even though you get splatter onto the lens, it clears almost instantly. And you actually get a pretty clear view through the sort of rainstorm of coolant to the part. Anyway, if you guys like this, uh, hit like and subscribe down below. And also, if enough folks are interested in the comments, um, I could whip up these brackets for sale, um, you know, get them uh, volume printed rather than printing them myself at home. Anyway, I hope this uh, is interesting to you guys.